The men's basketball season is just around the corner, and this past week I had an opportunity to speak with head coach Rob Corniker and several players on the men's team. It's that time of year once again as the St. John Fisher College men's basketball team prepares for the 2006-2007 season and once again looks to defend their Empire 8 championship title. Head coach Rob Corniker isn't quite ready to set his expectations. Um, I've kind of been hesitant to talk about our expectations just because we have so many new players, but I think if you talk to some of the older guys, you know, they don't want to have a drop-off. Right. Uh, I think losing a first-team All-American and you're the best three-point shooter in the school's history and some of the other guys that we, we've lost, the best defensive player maybe in the school's history, that uh, you know, it, it's sort of a rebuilding year for us. But you know, with Justin and Danny and Isaiah, you know, our three big guys back, and some other, some other upperclassmen that haven't had a lot of chances to play that are going to get chances to play, I think our optimism is high. Despite the loss of many players, senior Dan McSweeney has set very high goals for the season. It would be a huge disappointment if we don't make the NCAAs. It's definitely a goal. And beat and proceed further than we made it last year. Final four, you know, or better. Junior Justin Beigel is well aware of the importance of having he, Dan McSweeney, and Isaiah Smalt in the Cardinals lineup. Um, we're good, real good friends. You know, we work together hard, beat each other up in practice. And, um, taking the freshmen in under our wing and just getting them better and we're getting ready for the season. While the big men are extremely important to the Cardinals offense, senior Dan Muller understands his role of replacing All-American Sean O'Brien. Um, they're big shoes to fill kind of, but I'm, I'm kind of playing more too this year. I'm not really playing the point as much, so I mean, yeah, um, it's you know, a guard position, but still it's uh, you know, kind of tough to fill, but it'll be, I'm up to the challenge. Along with Muller, two freshmen in Chris Baltz and Matt Newman lead a host of 13 freshmen to this year's Cardinals team that look to step forward and take the role of the many seniors that have departed in the past year. Justin Beigel mentioned Baltz specifically, leaving the freshmen extremely honored. The fact that he mentioned me is a great honor because obviously coming into it, he's obviously one of the best players in the league along with Danny McSweeney and all the other seniors and juniors. and. Uh, just to be mentioned with those guys is a great honor, and I just hope I can do the best I can and contribute to the team's success. Matt Newman from Vestal, New York, shares Balt's sentiment and also feels that the Cardinals should be able to continue on with the winning ways that they have had in previous seasons. I hope we can win, keep winning, because <laughs> um, I think we have a lot of potential and to do even better than what we did last year and the year before. Warnicker is quick to admit that there will be some pressure this season, but says he'd rather take that on instead of his team. There is some pressure, you know, to to keep to keep things going. But right. you know, they're, they're, I mean, if you look at our team and you look at the guys that we lose, you know, I, I almost think the opposite. There's going to be some pressure because of our our history and our past. Right. But I don't want those guys to feel that. I really want them to start creating their own identity and and when they start winning games and they will win games right. when when we start winning games. Then they'll start creating their own identity, and, and this team will you know, not be remembered for that last senior class. I mean, that last senior class won 97 games. Oh, yeah. That's unbelievable. Mm -hmm. 